Hello, my name is Annabelle Daniel and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Women's Community Shelters. And it is time for our November newsletter and what a bumper edition we have for you this time around. And first off, I'd like to talk um, about something very important that happened in New South Wales over the course of the last month, and that is that coercive control has been criminalised. Um, it will take a little while for it to be implemented properly and there's lots of training to be done, but I was incredibly privileged to be there on the day that the bill passed and to speak with the Attorney General, uh, Mark Speakman, and the Minister for the Prevention of Domestic and Family Violence, Natalie Ward, as well as the Minister for Women, Bronnie Taylor, after the bill passed on the floor of Parliament that day. So quite a historic move. There's a lot of work to be done now to ensure that this bill is implemented well and that it truly reflects the experiences of victim survivors of domestic and family violence and this is going to be a whole of community effort. So there will be a lot of work to do over the coming year and a bit before this uh, legislation goes live um, but I'm sure we are all up for the challenge and Women's Community Shelters has played an important role in advocating for this offence to be brought in. You can read more down below. November is also incredibly important for another reason, and that is the 25th of November is the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. And what that day begins is 16 days of activism by the sector and the community against violence against women and children. And so there are a range of ways to get involved. We've got information down below, and the theme this year is Unite against domestic and family violence. And the last day of the 10 days of activism um, is International Human Rights Day, where we again focus on a life free from violence for women and children, um, and living a violence-free life is a human right. So more information and how to get involved down below. In recognition of the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, Women's Community Shelters has been really proud to launch our Client Voices project, which is called More Than My Story. And what this does is recognise and celebrate the voices of victim survivors of violence, providing them with a safe platform to tell their story and to share their experience with the media and in our policy development and all of our services. It's incredibly important that we integrate the lived expertise of those who've been through domestic and family violence into the way that we provide services, take that feedback and also provide safety in a platform for people to tell their stories because that's how we achieve change. You can watch Donna's story in the link down below. One of the things I always love hearing about the most is the wonderful things that happen in the shelters for the kids who are there. And this, this time, this newsletter, we're showcasing an amazing initiative from The Haven, Nepean Women's Shelter, and that's their Cool Kids program, which is where the kids have a weekly meeting, make decisions about what they want to do in the shelter, and learn by taking part in activities. And this is such a terrific initiative. It's run by the amazing shelter manager and staff, and you can read about it down below. Women's Community Shelters is so pleased to be taking part in Link Wentworth's Home Suite event in 2023. We've been partners doing great work and good things for a long time and this event is always one of the most amazing flagship events we participate in. It's happening in March 2023 and everybody can be a part of it. I like taking part in person and I'll either be in a sleepy or in the back of my car for this amazing event. You can sponsor me or you can be part of it yourself. Take part in person or take part online and all of the information is down below. It'll be raising funds for Women's Community Shelters, Burdekin and Link Wentworth's scholarship program. Women's Community Shelters has had the most amazing donation of a fantastic retreat at Gwingana. And we've put that up for raffle. So if you'd like the chance to be in a raffle to win an amazing prize staying at Gwingana Retreat, check out the link down below. It's fabulous, uh, fabulous opportunity and we're delighted that we're being supported in this way. 
Our newsletter this month is absolutely jam-packed with plenty more. So please read all of the links down below and thank you and we'll see you in December.